Look at these beautiful tanks. You know what would be better? Is if we didn't see them. There's nothing that can make a camper look old and shabby quicker than a couple beat up propane tanks at the front of your rig. It's such an easy and affordable way to upgrade and protect your investment that there's no reason you shouldn't do it. So not only is it great from an aesthetic standpoint because it can often hide some shabby looking tanks, but it's gonna protect them as well. It's gonna keep them away from debris that might fly up from your tow vehicle. It's gonna keep them out of the sun and out of the elements so you're not gonna get any cracks or leaks in your hoses and connections. So it's really all around just a smart investment. So we're gonna show you how to take this to this. You can buy them from a number of places. I'm sure your local camping store has them. You can order them online. We just went to Amazon because it's so quick and easy and they had a great assortment. We chose to go with black because it matched the rest of the rig and it just aesthetically went with everything, but they have all kinds of colors, white, tan, bone, green. If they don't have your color, you can paint it yourself. So lots and lots of options. We got ours in just a day or two. So what comes in the package? We got two equal pieces here. It's either side of the cover. We have a top, which is a little access panel so you can get to the, uh, the valves on the tanks really easily. And then we have some screws and nuts and a couple little knobs. And of course, directions. So it says, it says all we're gonna need is a pliers and a screwdriver. So that's what I pulled out put this thing together. Maybe I should read the directions first, huh? Should be easy. So we're gonna take the two halves. We're gonna place them together like so. Just like that, right? We're gonna dump out our hardware. One side has a little bit of a lip. It's gonna fit over the outside of the other half. We're just gonna put our screw or our bolt right through here, line up the holes, and then we're gonna tighten it on the other side with a lock nut. And I think you could totally finger tighten these initially, and then we'll go back around and we'll use the tools to, uh, to fully tighten it up. And this is definitely a project that if you have some, some kids who like to help out or are handy, they could totally tackle this one. And then what we're doing is we're just gonna hold the nut on one end and we're gonna grab our screwdriver on the other end and tighten them up. If you have electric screwdriver, you could definitely do this, which I'm gonna grab. All right, so on this particular cover, you have hinges on the inside of the lid and you have latches. And same thing here, you have three, three little hinges and you have two spots where you're gonna have these knobs that are, that are gonna act as latches. So what we're gonna do is insert, insert these knobs. And so we push that part through and then we're just going to screw on the little plastic nut on the end and that's what's going to tighten tighten your lid panel or your access panel down so got that started and then i'm just going to snap these hinges on all right that's snapped on and then so these lids literally close, this nut pulls up and over, and then you tighten it to keep it shut. Real simple. So, there you go. Putting it together wasn't too tough, was it? Yeah, that little door up top right here that allows me to quickly access the valves without having to take the whole cover off. But really, it's not a big deal. It slides right off. We have those couple tabs underneath where we'll put a little bungee cord on just to secure it or you can tie it with a rope. So this was just a super easy and inexpensive way to upgrade your RV. It makes it look a whole lot better. It's gonna protect those tanks, keep them lasting longer, and there really isn't a reason you shouldn't do it. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel and follow New Look RV on Instagram.